Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at equivalent fractions. Now I'm going to write an example over here. Now first we must look at what are equivalent fractions. So equivalent fractions have the same value even though they may look different. So these are all the same but they look different. Why are they the same? Because when you multiply or divide both the top or the bottom by the same number, the fraction keeps its value. For example, let's have a look at this one. How is a half the same as two quarters or two fourths? So let's see what goes into one and two. If you do one times two equals two, what you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. Two times two equals four and then you must do the same again two times two equals four four times two equals eight that's how you work out an equivalent fraction now let's visually look at it this is going to be a half a pizza let's shade this in that is the same as saying two quarters Let's split this into four. Remember that of four. One, two. So can you see they are both the same, but they are just represented differently. I can have half the pizza, but that will be the same as having two fourths of a pizza. Can you see? And the last one is four eighths. So once again, I'm going to draw a pizza again, roughly the same size. So let's put it into um, eights. One, two, three, four five six seven eights and what's our numerator well it's four so let's shade in four one two three and four so the answer is four eighths that is equivalent fractions so remember when you multiply or divide both the top and the bottom by the same number can you see the same number so we used multiply by two the fraction keeps its value and I've done an example at the bottom of pizzas and we looked at how a half is the same as two fourths and two fourths is the same as four eighths. Now I'm going to give you some more examples. This time I want you to try and do it on your own. Pause the video if you want. But let's have a look at the first one. We have four sevenths and we have 12 28 let's do that again 12 28 okay so how many times does 4 go into 12 4 8 12 you multiply it by 3 what you must do to the top you have to do to the bottom to make sure it keeps the same value so 7 times 3 well let's see is it 28 7 14, 21. No, it's not 28, is it? The answer should have been 12, 21. But over here it says 28. So that is not an equivalent fraction. Let's have a look at another example. The second one is 5 sixths. Is that equivalent to 40, 48? If you're feeling confident, Pause the video and have a go on your own. But if you're still slightly confused and want more information, please continue watching. So let's have a look how many times 5 goes into 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It goes into it 8 times. Now what's the rule again? What you must do to the top, you must do to the bottom. 6 times 8. Well, let's have a look. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. Brilliant. Yes, it does go in. So that is an equivalent fraction. Well done if you got it right. And let's move on to the next question. Okay, we have 3 tenths. Is that equal to 21 thirtieths? Okay, well, let's see how many times does 3 go into 21? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Goes into it 7 times. What you must do to the top, you must do to the bottom. 
10 times 7, well, is it 30? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, no. So that is not an equivalent fraction because 10 times 7 equals 70. Okay, let's have a look at one more. But this time, I am going to do it a little bit differently for you. I have 6 ninths. And this time, I'm going to give you the numerator, but I am not going to give you the denominator. Let's have a look at ourselves. How many 6s going to 36? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Multiply it by 6. Now, what you must do to the top, you must do to the bottom. Well, let's do 9 times 6. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. And there you go. That is in equivalent fractions. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for all the support and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.